Hello from Man, Fan, Man City Fan TV. Uh, we are okay. We are just on the way to the Melbourne Derby between Melbourne City and Melbourne Victory at Amy Park, which is the home game for Melbourne City. And on the way walking down to the ground, we have to pass the MCG. So I'll quickly show you the way we would go and, and what's near. Uh, all the sporting stadiums, apart from one, are all in Olympic Park, which includes this is the MCG, which is probably known as Melbourne Creek Ground. Uh, in Melbourne and it's home to the AFL, the obviously the international cricket and the state cricket including the Boxing Day Test Matches, have the Olympic Games and the Commonwealth Games here um, and the, the ground holds 100,000 all seater and it's an oval shape um, and as you can see from the ground here it's a vast stadium, a huge stadium which is the main focal point just on the outskirts of the city centre. As center. you can see the MCG is on the right hand side there with the city in the background you walk down there and across the bridge here there's obviously part of the city and south bank there and hole here is now where the australian tennis open is this part of the olympic park it's where they play in january for all the, Austra the australian tennis players and the world tennis players for the australian open and over here where the floodlights are is where amy stadium is and you walk over here towards the game we're about two hours before kickoff here so there's plenty of time but I thought I'd come with the light because the light's starting to go now. We're in the end of autumn, we're heading for winter here. So it's going to go dark within the next 20 minutes. So that, that's the city in the background and the tennis open area. And we're on the way to Amy. So, uh, um, just before, obviously, an hour and a half before kickoff, we're, I'm outside the Amy Stadium. And this is where Man Melbourne City will play their home games. Uh, but they also share this ground with uh, Melbourne Storm Rugby League and Melbourne Rebels. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a bit very similar, shaped like a football, but shaped in the proper uh, shape of a football ground. And next to the ground here, you've got Collingwood AFL training ground, uh, which has also got a training complex there for the AFL. And across the road here, this is a part of the Tennis Open complex for the Australian Tennis Open. So as you can see, the Olympic Park is all pretty much together with the MCG on the other side. Um, and very easy to get to from the city. It's about probably about 20 minutes walk from uh, Melbourne city centre. So it's quite easy to get to on public transport or even walk on a nice day. Uh, I thought I'd show you this before it goes dark in about 20 minutes so you can all see. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll all talk to some fans now in a, in a, in a bit. And I'll meet Ross. Eventually, I found Ross late, half an hour late. Look at him, look at him. Thought I'd, make Callum wait. Thought I'd make Callum wait for me today. I know, so, uh, they talk about me being late or not turning up. So uh, I had, to sort, minutes. had to sort some of the boys out around the corner. So. Oh, did you? Yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. okay, so I'm kicking off his <laughs> Oh, dear me, oh, dear me. All right, well, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go in the ground now. We'll, we'll do some interviews then. Right, he's, got, right, he's, right. he's got his jacket on here, as you can see. He's got all the gear on. All the gear, mate, all the gear. be outside the Amy Stadium for the Melbourne Derby. We're with Tom and Jackie tonight. We got them last time at the, uh, at the, at the, at the Marble Stadium for the 6-0 drubbing. So how do you think the game's going to go today, boys? Your first time? Well, usually the second derby is, is not a very happy one for Melbourne City. So I hate to say this, right? I really hate to say Surely, this. Okay. Surely. I don't want it to be another Western United debacle, but two 0 to City. Two 0 to City. That's yeah, I'm, I'm on the same. I don't think it's going to be a walk in the park like it was last time. Yeah. Look, the key is us putting our early chances away. If yeah. we we struggle to score to score early. Yeah we're going to struggle throughout the game and this is a type of game that you don't have to be on form yeah. to win the game yeah. you've probably witnessed it man city yeah. man united yeah. and all that the the, the informed team doesn't normally win if we put our chances away we could walk away with a good win if we don't there's a possibility we could lose tonight so here come that you're a liverpool fan you know i'm a liverpool fan and so i want to know how you how you feel about this season what's how what's gone wrong at anfield and i, I thought we were talking about melbourne city what you thought what your thoughts are i'm and gutted why you, and why are you a liverpool fan oh like i said last time uh me and my dad been liverpool fans yeah. he's been a liverpool fan all his life and he sort of like uh drilled it into me um yeah it hurts it hurts but you know what man still love the club I don't care if they finish on bottom of the ladder or if they win the Premier League for me there's only one team 
and that's Liverpool FC, mate. And Klopp, we love you. Keep up the good work. Oh dear, man, that's terrible. terrible. <laughs> and who do you support? Uh, uh, I'm a Juventus fan. You, you Juve fan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've not won the league this year. They're not going to win it, are they? Look. No, look. To be honest, you know, look, nine straight. That's the that's the massive achievement. You know, um, for us, it's the Champions League. We want the Champions League, okay? And we thought Ronaldo could deliver it to us. Unfortunately, you know, he hasn't got the uh, the, the players around him. Um, let's do it again next year, I guess. Good, Good luck today, Jason. Enjoy thank the you. game. Okay. Pleasure, thank, thank you. you. At, the, at the Amy Stadium, he's actually going for a walk. He yeah, is, as you can see there, he's a Man City fan and he's part of the Melbourne Blues. <laughs> we just caught him walking yeah, with his blocked. girlfriend. So, so let's talk about the game tonight against Chelsea, Kane. Okay? What do you reckon? Oh. Yeah, I, I think we're in a pretty good place. I heard Kovacic is out, so what's that? One of their outlets from the midfield to break the press. So I think we'll be able to contain them and hopefully. Yeah, it should be a good result. I reckon. Uh, I reckon we'll we'll do Chelsea. He's playing the reserve keeper, isn't he? Uh, oh, Stefan. Well. Yeah, I heard Stephen's that. Playing today, he'll do all right. He's a good decent keeper, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty good with his feet. He comes off quick off the line. Yeah. So. Pepe mess around with the team a bit, or. Oh, what do we got? Aston Villa on the weekend. Oh, yeah, no, mid on midweek. Mid yeah. yeah, I reckon he'll play a strong team. I reckon he'll play a strong team. We've had what three days to have a rest, so. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon it was a good result on, uh, on Thursday morning, wasn't it? Wednesday night Oof. in England. Great, great result. Yeah. Great result. Yeah. Foden, how good was Foden? Yeah, yeah. Classic, unreal. Classic. Oh, mate, it's so good. Yeah, he is. He's an amazing player. Well, I'll let you get back to your girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, go ahead. Yeah. All the be best. Going, you should be going here tonight, but never mind. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm saving myself. I'm going to have a nap and then I'll wake up 2 30 for the game, so uh, yeah. come on, Blues. Are you coming in the pub? Yeah, yeah, I'll be down there for sure. I'll see, see you there. See you, mate. Bye -bye. See you, mate. Take care. Yeah, outside the Amy Stadium, and he's in fact a Man City fan, but a Melbourne Victory fan. And he's even got the gear on. Look at this here. He's got all the gear on. He's from, where are you from? You're from Crew, aren't you? I'm oh, from like, Crew. Yeah. Are, are you coming in the pub tonight to watch the Man City? That's I am. Yeah, yeah. So why do you support Melbourne Victory and not Melbourne City apart from the group? Or are you just being treacherous? I'm not being treacherous. I'm no Judas. I, um, I support Melbourne Victory due to the fact that I don't like the, what Melbourne City represents. Uh, Which is what? Which is just being plastic, really. Uh, it's it's just a club that was bought out. Well, that's uh, saying it against the, the Man City, isn't it? No, it's Why? not. It's not really. No, it's not. It's not. It's not at all. They they buy this, and I'm I'm a big believer in real football, and the likes of uh, Melbourne City and you know New York City and all that. It's just taking away clubs, and, and I'll, I'll back Mel. Uh, I'll back Melbourne Victory due to the fact that it represents Melbourne. What about Melbourne City? What about them? Well, they won 6 down last time, didn't they? How did you feel about that, Alex? Uh, Come on. It is what it is. It's just I didn't it. speak to you after the event, but you weren't very, 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 very calm and very collected, was it? No, I wasn't. Uh, so uh, what do you think the results going to be today? <laughs> if we score a goal, I'll be happy. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. All I can say is Alex is a member of the Man City Supporters Club, a committee member. He was with me at the committee meeting this morning. And now he's going on the other side and going against the club he loves. What do you say to that, Alex? Melbourne City has nothing to do with Man City. I'll say that now and I'll say it for the day I die. Right. They're not the same. What's we'll score today? What's we'll we'll score, we'll score today then, Alex? <laughs> I'll repeat, as long as we score a goal, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, so a 4-1 four, four, defeat, would you be happy with that? <laughs> B6 still, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, well, I'll see you in the pub later on, Alex. Alright, mate, yourself. I'll see you then. Hello, welcome to Man City Fan TV with me and Alan here at the Melbourne Derby. I'm really happy to bring two massive City fans, proper City fans, not Melbourne City, Man City fans. We've got Johnny and Lucas all the way from not Melbourne, Hyde. Johnny, we are Hyde! <laughs> Johnny, tell us a little bit about yourself, mate. I'm a big City fan, mate, obviously, as you know. Um, came over here in 2004. Uh, you know, I've uh, been a City season ticket holder for 20 odd years before that, supported City all my life. 2004, I thought, ah, oh, you know, what's the point of staying in Manchester? We're not going to win anything or anything, are we? So that worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been lucky enough to went back to 2011 for the FA Cup final, and I was back in 2014 for the League Cup final. And obviously, watch all the games with you lads here, the supporters club. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to the game tonight as well. We're very lucky to go to football, like there's plenty of people around the world can at the moment, isn't there? So it's a big old game. So we might catch up with Johnny at half time. Um, it's a bit wild now, the teams are about to get out, but obviously great to bring you a City fan. And uh, we'll 
see more from Johnny Howe. Come on, City. TV live at the Melbourne Derby. Uh, back with Johnny Wrigley here. He's just uh, come round and uh, jumped over the concourse uh, to get back around in the away fans mixing it in. It's 2 0 at half time. Johnny, what do you think first half? Well, it's a bit like watching uh, the 6 1 at Old Trafford, mate, isn't it? It's just Old City. Absolutely killing him. Obviously, uh, victory going down to 10 men, it's not made a massive amount of difference because we're just all over him. Disappointed, really. Should be 4 or 5, so. Uh, yeah, let's open the second half and stick a few more up. Red, red card for you, was it? Oh, yeah, definitely has gone in, but his foot held high, hasn't he? That was pretty clever of him, trying to get the referee to stop putting his hand in his pocket to get the red card out, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought the ref was never going to go, yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'll just leave it, I'll just leave it in there. What yeah. do you think about the penalty? Do you think that was a pen? Oh, look, 50-50, I reckon, but we yeah. got it, didn't we? No more than we deserve to, no, is it? So not too old Bill swarming around here now, Johnny. They must have spotted our old oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what do you think? Let's uh, go to a proper team now, uh, the, the proper city. So what do you reckon for tonight? Look, um, I was definitely going to start Stefan. I've read that today. I suppose that's fair enough, really. I don't. I've not had a chance to look whether Sergio's going to be fit. If Sergio's fit, I'd start with him because obviously ridiculous in FA Cup semi-final when I left England I did, never dreamed about FA Cup semi-finals but supposedly we've got bigger fish to fry really haven't we so well if he does what he did last time we played him in a semi-final we'd be happy with well, that well there one. you go and I mean really we've got 16 17 players that you quite happily rotate in and out and uh, you're quite happy whatever formation he picks really I mean been really impressed with Zinchenko recently even when he played in midfield I know we lost against Leeds but it's neat and tidy for me in that game. What's your views on Sterling at the moment? Uh, look, I mean, end of the day, cliche style. But uh, well, Pep's picking the be best team in him. Unfortunately, he's not in our best 11 at the moment. But if he gets a chance tonight, and I think he will start tonight, then he's got to take it. Hasn't he? I mean, he didn't really take it against Leeds. I'm not one of these Sterling bashers. I mean, 31 goals last season. Um, but he's not in our best 11 at the moment. We're very, very lucky. We've got 15, 16 top class players, so yeah, his time will come again. His time, I mean, it's, it's class, it's class and stay, won't it? So, exactly. So, uh, who, who do you reckon the front three will be tonight? Then you've already mentioned Aguero, um, Sterling, and then yeah, no, no, he could play Bernardo wide, maybe even. I don't know. It's hard to say. Isn't it? He's folding, come forward and go again. Um, it's hard to say. Yeah. I mean, one thing is definitely for sure, mate. If I tell you the eleven now, it won't be that eleven. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, possible. though, isn't it, Johnny? Like you said, we've got so many players. But do you, what's your views? I mean, I'm one of the old school ones who thinks you pick your best team every week, regardless. I know, of what mate. You I know. I, I I agree. But like the game's changed, hasn't it? And as I say, we are so lucky to have so many really good players. 15, 16 players that we can rotate in and out comfortably. Um, does Fernandinho start tonight? Sorry, we're, he, we're just in the way of the cappuccino king here. We need to. <laughs> does he bring his own sugar? Do we start Fernandinho? I mean, I've got no problems if we do. If Rodri drops out and and Ferner starts, absolutely no problem with that at all. So, so on Ferner then, would you uh, would you give him a new contract? Oh, 100 percent, mate. It's like Benjamin Button, isn't he? He's going backwards. He's, yeah. he, like, he looks young and old when we signed him. Do, do you think this, you could name five players better than Ferner in that position at the moment? No. Ah. Mine, that one's for you, mate. That's not from Martin Bay. <clears throat> no, absolute top draw, mate. Never ever lets us down. Just sheer class. And another player that they, uh, on the stream they've been talking about the last few weeks is Zinchenko. What's your views on him? Mate, 100% keep him. Every single champion team has... <coughs> excuse me. Bit throws a bit gone after that first half. As utility players, don't they? I mean, you know, hate to say it like the rags had Phil Neville or, you know, um, players that uh, Zinchenko will drop out the team. He won't complain. He won't moan. He'll go home with his top draw misses. So no wonder he's not moaning. <laughs> but um, 
You know what I mean? He'll drop I've out. Seen a Johnny so he won't know. won't win your moan. He'll he'll happily drop out. Then he'll come back in. He'll do a job. Like you want players like that all day long. No trouble. I reckon he's no trouble off the pitch. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. Definitely. Uh, and what? Uh, do, well, just final thoughts. What do you think of Alan's hair at the moment? I think that Justin Nen's doing a really good job for him, mate. <laughs> it's looking really good. You <laughs> heard it here first, guys. Uh, Alan's on the old hashtag JFM. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, Johnny, mate. Enjoy a second. All right, cheers, lads. Anthony here after the 7 0 win by Melbourne City against Melbourne Victory. And uh, I can see one of them's got a Man United shirt on. Oh dear, this is not good, is it? You're a Melbourne City, you're a Melbourne City fan and you're a Man United fan. How does that go down? So let's talk about the game first of all today. What do yeah. you think? Look, it was just hilarious at one stage. I think we scored four goals in about five minutes. And at, yeah. at that stage, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry or cheer. Uh, it was just, just incredible, absolutely incredible. What about, what McLaren about, five goals. I know, I know. Five I know. goals. And what about you, my son? Oh, uh, this is this is something to remember for sure. Yeah, for sure. On my birthday. Yeah. Oh, it's on your happy birthday. Yeah. And let's talk about that horrible shirt you're wearing. <laughs> that disgusting, <laughs> horrible shirt. What on earth are you sporting in a Man City club with a Man United badge on? Oh, this. Is oh, look! Strange. I was very sad when City took over our beloved Melbourne heart. Um, I've had to kind of cope with it, but it, I, I'm never going to wear a sky blue shirt to a game. <laughs> fuck, fuck that. That's just not going to happen. How, how, what do you think of the City group taking over the, the club? Though, oh, you, you well, oh, we lost the capo. Honestly, like I used to come to the games. I used to be in the Arrow side where we had a proper capo who everyone respected. And then they brought in an artificial capo. And no one really like, gets around this guy. And then there's no capo now. That's, that's, so what, that's so the situation. Do, we, do you really need a capo? Because, you know, well, in, they in, need England, don't, in England, victory were way louder in England than us you today. don't get capos. You just, Look, everyone sings. We lost 7-0 and the victory fans were way louder than us. That's no, the reality. No, no. Mate, we'll take your money. We'll take your money. Good, good, good. Well, glad to see you wearing that shirt. Unfortunately, you're not going to win the league this year. And we, we know who is. So, uh, <laughs> there, there, there we go. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Well, well, well. well hopefully, any Jack will score a hat trick against you in the Europa for Roma. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> well, well done, 7 0 win. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Yes!